Hey guys and welcome to Neat Video Tutorials! This tutorial is the most important one to watch, because we are going to be talking about noise profiling. It affects everything that happens from here on, and this step will make or break the quality of the final result. So watch closely. Let's get started. Here we've got a video of Singapore taken at night and it has lots of noise. To achieve the best possible noise reduction, first we need to inspect this clip to find a frame with strong noise and large uniform areas. This frame seems to be one of the noisiest frames, and it also has the featureless areas we are looking for. This is where I am going to open up Neat Video. To build a new noise profile, click the Auto Profile button. When you click this button, the program automatically selects a big, featureless area with strong noise in the selected frame, and then it checks the adjacent frames. The program does this because sometimes the same area in a nearby frame can have even stronger noise. This time, Neat Video has selected this area in this frame. Now we need to check whether this area is the best for profiling or not. And here are the main rules to follow. Number 1. The area must contain no true details. No skin, no grass. Avoid anything with valuable details, no matter how tiny. And this area ticks this box. Number 2. Pay attention to the size of the area used for profiling. If your frames allow, try using bigger areas to build a noise profile. This will ensure that the noise is estimated correctly in all frequencies. Number 3. The higher noise level value, the better. For example, here we have noise level of 4.8, and this area has noise level of only 4.1. So, in this case, the area originally selected for profile building is best. So, I will use that one. And the rule number 4 is pay attention to the not uniform message. If you get this message, it means Neat Video has picked up details in the luminance or chrominance channels. These details might not be visible in the full image, but when you look at the brightness and color channels separately, these details show up. Sometimes this message appears in truly featureless areas. This happens due to aggressive video codec compression. The codec puts chunks of featureless areas together, which form big blocks next to each other. And to neat video, those blocks look like features, as they are much bigger than usual noise grain. So when you get the not uniform warning, check the area in Y, CB and CR channels. If there are any true details there, just move the selection to another spot and click the Build Profile button. But if you only see blocky compression artifacts with no real features, then go ahead and denoise your video using that noise profile. And remember, you can always experiment with areas for profile building and compare the results. The next thing I want to tell you about is our new Profile Check mode. This is a great tool. It will help you to check the accuracy of your profile and, if necessary, adjust it. How do you work with Profile Check? Ideally, you need to find a flat area bordering on the edge of an object and zoom into it to 100 or 200 percent. Make sure you are in the YCR and CB Plus Viewer mode, and then click the Profile Check button here at the top. Profile Check highlights noise that hasn't been reduced by the filter, and it also dims the details, so you can easily see noisy areas that require some tuning. The picture itself will look a bit blurry, but don't worry, it's not the end result, this is just for tuning purposes. I do have some bits of noise left. It means the filter has underestimated the noise present in the picture. So let's push the noise level slider up a little bit. That's better, but there is still some noise left here. So it looks like I need to move the slider up a touch more. Aha, uh -huh, looks good. Let's check other parts of the frame. Everything's looking good. And this is the sweet spot for our video, and I'm not going any higher. If you only have noise in one or two channels, you can tune them separately. Also check out the noise level in the frequency components, as they may help too. Sometimes you'll have the opposite situation, where too much noise is removed, and details become too blurry. In that case, you decrease the noise level. Go to the point where the noise is just starting to pop up 
and then move one step backwards to where you can't see any noise. In some rare cases, you may find you just can't get it work. That means the noise profile wasn't built properly. Maybe the selected area was too small or it contained some fine details. The best move in this case is to rebuild the noise profile, making sure it ticks all the boxes. As we've said many times before, an accurate noise profile is the key to great noise reduction. To illustrate this, I'll show you the difference in result between a carefully built and tuned noise profile and a profile that was made arbitrarily. To do that, I will create a new variant and build a new noise profile using this area. It's flat, without any details, but the noise level is only 4.1 and the area is much smaller. As you remember, the noise level in this variant is 4.8. Let's switch to the Adjust and Preview tab. I have created a preset for this clip and applied it to both variants. The filter settings are the same for both, so any difference you see will only be due to the noise profiles used for each. As you can see, there is quite a difference in results between the good and bad profiles. So hopefully by now you've got the picture and it's clear that using accurately built and checked noise profiles is important. Always make a good one. That's it, guys. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please hit subscribe button for more and give us a thumb up. If you have any questions, leave them in comments. We'll be happy to help. And bye for now.